All right, welcome back, everyone. Brent's here with his picks in week three yes. of the holiday yes. challenge. And I'm successful in that, but i got to say, what a great show so far. Good weather, at least today. Uh-huh. Star Wars action figures and pie. Oh, yeah, we've this made This has been Brent my happy. favorite hey, show the, of, you of, know, of the season. It's all about making It's all Brent about happy. me happy. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, to meet your challenge, I actually brought you two holiday albums this oh, week. Oh, so he's going for bonus points I'm going points for bonus now. points, yes. Okay. Now, uh, help me out here. I'm, I'm really bad at mispronouncing name. Pentatonix. There you go. Thank you so much. Anyway, this, they're a great acapella group, but I always yes. want to call them like, did I say pentatonics? I see I would have had it right that time. Great acapella group. Um, really popular. Even when they don't do holiday albums, their albums are very popular, very fun. Yes. We play them in the store. People are like, who is that? Who is that? And they think it's all a bunch of different artists when it's actually the same album. They oh, see yeah. different kinds of songs. Their holiday album, um, special edition released. Um, it's, it's a favorite, uh, one, of, one of my favorites as well. There's another group out there called... Uh, Straight No Chaser, also a cappella, also does um, holiday albums. We'll see if they do in this uh, new, new one this Similar year. Similar to Pentatonix? Um, it, it's more, they're more old school. It's all male, and so it's more of the like old school. Barbershop. It's like Mad, yeah. Mad Men style, okay, uh, right, swinging, right. swinging cocktail yeah, yeah. a cappella. Now, I also brought the, uh, the cla uh, French Christmas album, which is basically uh, classic French Christmas songs. I brought it for a couple of reasons. One, my own family history, uh, my mother's family, originally from France, plus sure. with things, the, the tragedy in Paris, to help raise some awareness about yeah. the culture of uh, French music. And it's just really, really pretty Christmas songs when yeah. it's done in French with acoustic instruments and whatnot. Movie wise, uh, The Man from Uncle, mm -hmm. which is based on a very popular uh, show from the 60s I used to watch when I was a kid. Um, now, the show in the 60s was essentially trying to capitalize on the popularity of 007. Mm -hmm. Did very well. And of course, it's appropriate. Now we have a new 007 right. film in theaters this week, and so on DVD is The Man from Uncle, directed by Guy Ritchie. One of my favorite directors, uh, Arnie Hammer is in it, as well as Henry Cavill. A couple of really handsome guys. The great premise of the spy series that I was like, even as a kid, was you have a CIA agent and a KGB agent working together mm -hmm. to fight a greater evil. So it kind of puts the Cold War on hold, and they kind of join forces. Really something to, to strive towards, I think. Sure. It's fun. Yeah. And it's stylish, great music, and it takes place in the 60s Cold War era, so it's swinging, you know. Right. Um, uh, I'm so sorry. Wicked Winter. Yes, Winter is the latest book. <laughs> Wicked in the Winter, whatever. Winter, whatever. Well, it's, it's hard because this is a series, and it's like, and it, it, teen fantasy series are very, very popular. They and are. And the last book in this series left on a cliffhanger. So the fans were like, when's the next book's coming out? When's it coming out? And so it's been flying off the shelf. But it's a must-have. If, uh, if, if your kiddos are into this, it might make a good Christmas present or holiday present if they haven't already read it because it came out this week. Okay, so let me stop you there because yes. you, you usually bring um, one of these... Teen uh, Yeah. Wait, novels? who's the writer? That is... Okay, Marissa I'm sorry. Mayer. I, I, okay, you thought it was I somebody else? The, uh oh. Yeah, I did. Marissa Tomei, maybe? No, no, no. The last okay. name. I saw oh, Meyer. The, yeah. Oh, like Stephanie? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, so any of them compare, if they could, to Twilight? The only one that comes close to the sales of Twilight would be, of course, The Hunger Games. Mm. See, and so, and those are And two, that's considered. That is also teen fiction. So really? Yes. I, didn't, I didn't think that was. So many books that are intended for teen audiences become huge mainstream hits yeah. with adults. And grandparents and younger kids, and, and when they become the movies, they become this global phenomenon. So yeah, um, it, it's really interesting how even though it's classified as a teen novel, it's really an everybody novel. Right. Now, in those cases, you have one: you have the popular dystopian future sci-fi where kids are struggling against this evil government. Mm -hmm. Then you have the kind of supernatural love story. And then you have sort of the modern day fairy tale, which this one falls into. Okay. So it's like the popularity of Once Upon a Time. Yeah. Um, all the Disney live action versions of the classic fairy tales. It's all mm. part of the cultural zeitgeist. Yes, yes, I use that word, zeitgeist, <laughs> right now. Speaking of which, the most talked about book and asked about book in my store right now has been this one. Help me with her last name again, Leah. Remini. Thank you. Uh, he used to be in King of Queens, right? <laughs> right. Yes. Well, this is her book about escaping uh, her personal escape from the Church of Scientology. Mm. Controversial topic, real hot yes. button. Everyone wants to know the the, the, the tell all book. Um, she mentioned any other names? I'm not going to tell. Okay. Because I want you to read the book and buy it. Okay. And cha -ching. No, seriously. It, uh, it, no, it, I it, want this. It sells out very, very quickly, and people get annoyed that we don't it, when it sells out. It's like, mm -hmm. it's so popular. Why don't you have it? I'm like, 
because, because it's, it's so, so popular. popular. But we got some more in, so go run down there and get it if you want it. Yeah. Uh, Janet, you can. Janet Ivanovich, I have no problem with her name. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Stephanie Plum series, very popular series of books. She's a bounty hunter. This is a case that involves a case in Trenton, New Jersey. It may involve some shenanigans done by someone who takes care of one of the college mascots. There may be animals involved. Mm -hmm. Hijinks and Sue, okay. as always with her. Mm -hmm. And then David Baldacci. He always writes about spies and assassins and whatnot. And his latest one here, which is called The Guilty, is about a man who's a uh, government assassin contract hitman who loses his touch. It's like, ah. So what does he do? Goes back to his hometown, of course. Go home, visit the family. It's Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. To his, and then get involved in shenanigans there. Always, right. always fun. Always shenanigans. You always That's want the hitman to come home for the holidays, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. And, of course, you can check out Brent's blog at brentsblogtx.blogspot.com. As always, thank you. Can't thank wait you. to see week and, four. And come see me at uh, Barnes & Noble.